Hey YouTube, what's going on? Ryan Knows Tech here from techinform.us. In today's video, by popular demand from last week's Microsoft Office 2010 video, is a video looking at iWork. Um, iWork is Apple's answer to Microsoft Office, and it's a in my opinion, a better answer and a cheaper answer than Microsoft Office. iWork is $79 for one license that'll activate one copy on a Mac. And for an extra 20 bucks, you get a family pack, which I believe is three licenses. So that's a uh, very good. Actually, it's five right there. So you can activate five Macs for an extra 20 bucks. So excellent deal here. And each copy, of course, is going to come with pages, which is your word, Numbers, which is your Excel, and Keynote, which is your PowerPoint. So it's relatively basic compared to Microsoft Office, which makes it very easy to use, very intuitive. However, it's not really all that basic. All the functionalities there just laid out a little bit differently, and uh, in my opinion, as a longtime PC user, fairly recent switching to the Mac, it's a lot easier, and uh, for the most part, a better application. Now, there are some things that Microsoft Office is far better at. But uh, for the basics, I definitely prefer iWork. So for only $79 and $99, it's, a, I think, a must-have if you're, if you're using uh, OS X Leopard or Snow Leopard. So here I have my copy of Pages open. If we look at all the templates here, we get a crap load of templates here. We have blank um, portrait and landscape. We have grocery letters. Uh, lots of weird stuff here. Vienna letter. Um, woodland letter. These are really just templates. You can do envelopes, fax, I mean, lots of stuff. Quiz, I mean, sailing newsletter, really, education newsletter. Um, could be useful. I don't know. How about this? Hula Party Poster Live. All right, let's choose that. That's a little weird. Cool. Groovy. So here we are. Um, all of this is editable move this around it's kind of cool it's really actually kind of stupid I think but but it's it's nice so if we just do a blank let's do a blank of uh, pages here just a blank document this is what you'd be using for for word processing and this is just a word processor here we'll type something fun running pages 09 because that's the latest version so it's just like any other suite we'll Highlight it, change the font size, looks nice, uh, lots of stuff up here we can edit. Um, really, really easy, and it's not all that advanced. So you have what you need, and it's very easy to get. Now, if you want, you can come up here. You have a whole bunch more options, but uh, this is really nice. You can save it in a Word document or iWork08 document, so it's very compatible if you want to save it as a .doc. Uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna produce .docx, but it will read and edit .docx and then save it as .doc or .pages or whatever they use in iWork 08. So Pages uh, definitely a success, really easy. I like it a lot compared to Microsoft Office. Go ahead and close that. Um, here we are in Numbers, you know, your Excel equivalent. We have all of the templates open here. You can kind of same as Pages. Uh, Sort them down, personal, finance, blank, education. I don't know, let's do a grade book. All right, so here's a grade book. This is actually kind of nice. You can put in uh, all these different values here. But, um, you know, it's not, I don't know. If I were gonna do something like this, I would want my own. So let's go back and do a blank. Here we are. Looks pretty much just like Excel. You've got your A through Z, and then you run through it through whatever number that you want. You can select in here. This is just really nice. You can save it as a .xls. It'll read same as Pages, guys. It's it's compatible. It's easy. It's all here that you need. Let's get that out of the way. Um, here's Keynote. Nope, that's Numbers. Here's Keynote. Looks a lot like PowerPoint. I really like it. So let's say uh, we want to do an Apple Keynote style here. We'll do a gradient. And uh, we can check our resolution. Let's do it in 1080p, 1920 by 1080. Select that in the gradient, choose. It's going to go ahead and load that up. Um, it had all kinds of different uh, templates we could choose there. So here we are. Apple's font is Myrid Pro. If anybody didn't know, it's M Y Myraid. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> 
the iPad. There it is. Double click to edit. A large iPod touch. There we go. So let's say we want to put some effects on that. Oops, not move it. Effects. See how you get this really nice uh, line tool? A lot of Apple products have that. It's just really nice to be able to organize them. Go up to the inspector in the top right. Let's do a build in effect. How about uh, blast? That sounds nice. Build out. Um, I don't know. Lens flare. Cool. Same thing over here. Do a drift and a diffuse. We can do actions on it. I don't really know how that works. <laughs> but as you can see in the inspector here, we have a lot of different options here. Looks a lot like um, iWeb or applications like that. Um, transitions, lots of cool transitions actually. Um, magic move, anagram, shimmer. A lot of the ones that you see during keynotes, which is actually kind of cool. So let's create a new slide. Oops. New slide. Um, I don't know. iPhone 4. And uh, let's type down here iPhone 3GS. Cool. So in between, we'll go back to Inspector, do a transition. How about we do. Uh, do a 3D effect. What mosaic? Nah, I've seen that a million times. Um, doorway. Yeah, we've seen that too. Let's do it though. So if we want to play it, we come here, and then there should be a play button, or top left. Cool. I don't know if the screen recording is capturing this, but there it is. We click. There's our build-in effect. Build out. Next slide, it kind of moves like I told it to. Here we are. And there's our door effect, and there's the end. So obviously really basic, but you can put some really nice effects on that. Now, Office 2010 is also very nice. You've got some great effects in that, but I feel this is easier to use. It's, it's definitely more dummy friendly, but it's also a lot more functional, I think, at the same time. Uh, obviously, your text box is there. Delete it uh, with a delete key. You can do all these kind of shapes. Tables, same basic idea. Charts up here. Comments, uh, you can put stuff in. You can even change the theme from here. So let's say we changed our mind and we want to use this, uh, I don't know, Mustang red color, which looks like crap. Um, change it again. Up here. Here's one. Yep. Lots of different themes. Really nice to use. Uh, I definitely think it's worth the money. I would never hesitate uh, spending what I did spend, uh, 80 bucks on this again. Just a really nice application, a uh, really nice suite, uh, I guess, of applications. I highly recommend it. Uh, free alternatives. I've used them. OpenOffice, the NeoOffice suite. It's, uh, it's just really slow. And I'm not saying that iWork is incredibly fast because it isn't. Keynote is closed. I'll click this. We're running 8 gigs of RAM on a 2.6 core 2 duo. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll do a Kyoto thing here in 1080p. We'll choose. It takes a few seconds to load up, but it's not bad. So uh, very usable, very quick uh, for what you need it to do. And uh, definitely recommend the iWork suite. So let me know what you think. Office versus iWork. What do you like better? Um, I wish they made an iWork suite for a PC. I'd like to see how that would stack up to uh, Microsoft Office. I have used Microsoft Office on a Mac. I found it to be okay. It wasn't bad. It was better than Neo Office, but I do like iWork better. It's Apple software designed for Apple hardware, running on Apple software. It just, it just works. That's what I like about Apple. It just works. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you agree. If you don't agree, I'd appreciate that too, of course. But let me know what you think. I do look forward to reading the comments down below. If you uh, get bored and you want to follow me and stalk me a little bit, my Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And even more so, Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Ustream.tv slash Tech Inform Us, we host our live web shows. Speaking of that, check it out. Techinform.us should be up fairly shortly. It still says not found right now, but be sure to check back within, uh, I'm going to say, two weeks at the latest, and we should have a pretty uh, nice working site up, I hope. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in tomorrow's, aka Tuesday's, video. Have a good one. Bye.